I'll show them true strength. Hi right, guys, welcome back to the most amazing gaming channel in the world. Today we're going to be going over the uh, Season 4 Kabrakken build. First thing you want to go on into is going to be your 2. I know some people will say, oh, do your 3, but honestly, your 2 is immediate. It's got, I get, it's so much better. Plus, you get the extra stack, you can stun. So if you do walk on in, let's just hurry up and pick up Blink here. So you can come on in and you can usually take some damage. I and mean, look at that, you can uh, chunk them pretty good. Um, especially if you can build uh, your passive on it. It uh, does clear them out pretty nice. Um, so anyways, oop, showing too much. Um, that's going to be the first item you, or first one you go on into. Uh, next one, I will go on into the three. Uh, the reason why I go into the three second is just to group them all up for your two. So you walk on in, you use your three to get them all together, and then you just back up and they'll, in a sense, be dead after that. Um, so after that, go on into your um, your one. And then really, I like upgrading the one first. Uh, or that, yeah, the two, sorry. Uh, the two is what you do first is because it does uh, the stun duration. It has the wider, it's not just single target. The cooldown is lower, everything like that. So I do like going on into the two. Going into the ult as well, it's a phenomenal thing. But if you do look at it, the only thing it really does is increase it by 100 damage. Eh. I don't personally think it's needed. I'd rather go on into the 1. So then going into the 2, the 1, the 1, the 1, and then start upgrading the ult. And then your 3 is going to be the last thing you upgrade. Yes, I get that your 3 is literally the number 1 most damaging ability in the entire game. But the odds of you actually getting it all off is not very... High. So anyways, for the build itself, um, I like going on into Shoes of the Magi here. It's going to give you that power, the pen, everything that you'll need with that. Um, <clears throat> the second one I go on into is Breastplate. Most of the time you're going to be going up against another uh, a, a warrior, so Breastplate's going to be very, very helpful for this. Then I'll go on into a Polynomicon. This is going to give you the lifesteal as well as the, um, the power, which I get is not very beneficial at this point. The biggest thing that you do get with this is going to be your lifesteal. Then going into Ethereal Staff, mm -hmm. Void Stone, yes. and last one will be Soul Reaper. Now, yes, I get, honestly, your power is not that great, but what you really want to use Kabrakken for is going to be his, basically, his one and everything. So you hit that, hit him for that. Like, he does plenty of damage as it is. So it's not really needed to have Rod of Tahuti with him. Um, Void Stone just increases your damage as well as give you a, a ton of magic protection as well. So it's just overall a very, very good item. Now, again, please don't ever do this. Build Sprint. Sprint should not be picked up. I just want to hurry up and get on over to the raw. All right. So in the perfect world, I mean, you can still see Polynomicon was up there. But because Ethereal Staff can be procced as well, you have Soul Reaver and Polynomicon. Uh, basically, you can hit that. You don't need Rod of Tahuti. He hits so unbelievably hard. Um, same thing with this. You can just walk on up here. Go ahead. Hit that. And he's dead. Like, you really don't need... And if they don't, then you just jump away. I mean, it does 154 per hit after the mitigations, everything like that. It's absolutely crazy. So this is why I like this build. Um, you actually, I mean, your health isn't bad. You're at 2,500. I know it's nothing amazing there. Your protections aren't much, but honestly, no one can fight you uh, because as soon as they get close to you, all you have to do is go. And now they're going to run away. Like, that's it. You have a ton of mana to be able to support everything that you're going to need. And worst case, like, it's it's ridiculous. So hopefully this does show. I don't want people like, well, you don't have any protections. You don't have Rod of Tahuti. Yada, yada, yada. I get it. But hopefully that does show why you really don't need it. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did like, give it a like, comment, subscribe. And until the next time, have yourself a fucking amazing life. Bye.